A new Tomb Raider has been announced and we finally got a sneak peek at what the Coalition has been developing with Unreal Engine 5 today. Some really, really cool stuff. Let's talk about it. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to know when these videos go live. Still making that climb to 100,000 viewers, but I appreciate every one of you who watches regularly. Hit that sub button if you haven't yet. So uh, the big news is all from Crystal Dynamics today because they announced that there is a new Tomb Raider game and it's being developed in Unreal Engine 5. Now, previously uh, Crystal Dynamics had used something called Foundation, for their video game engines. And that was for the original reboot series, basically. There was, uh, this is the Tomb Raider Game of the Year edition, showing off, uh, I, I remember playing this for the first time. It was really, really cool. Um, it brought back Lara Croft. She's more grounded in reality. I, I really, in, well, I mean, it's still a fantastical game, but I had a really, really, Big blast playing this one. Really enjoyed it. Highly recommend. Uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. I believe I also completed this one. I, I'll say I did. But I uh, really enjoyed this one. Yeah, okay, I remember that and watching the footage now. Uh, these games are great. So these are these are the first two entries. And uh, already they were doing great things with the, the Tomb Raider franchise. And finally was uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. I actually didn't play this one. I played like... The, one of the puzzle levels as part of an NVIDIA demo at Gamescom or something. But all of these games were made free on the Epic Games Store uh, back in December, I want to say. So they're all out there. Really, really excellent games. So I'm really excited to see where they take the Tomb Raider franchise next with Unreal. Let's see what the tweet actually says. We're thrilled to announce the next Tomb Raider game will be developed in Unreal Engine 5. Are you an experienced developer in Unreal? Come work with us on the future of Tomb Raider. Crystal Dynamics is incredibly excited about the future of Unreal and how it will help us take our storytelling to the next level. That's why we're proud to announce that our next Tomb Raider game is being built on Unreal Engine 5. Now, if you haven't seen it yet, Unreal Engine 5 is an incredibly powerful tool set uh, for developers. They've figured out ways to reduce the amount of GPU that things like ray tracing take. Uh, they've made massive improvements to how games are built, basically. Uh, there's the Lumens lighting system. There's a lot of really, really cool stuff going on. And if you got to experience the Matrix demo that blew a lot of people away, away earlier in the year, uh, that's just a small sample of what the engine can do, right? So that was actually built by uh, the Coalition and Colin Penty, who helped develop the project, was actually at the event today and they were revealing, the Coalition, known for Gears of War, was revealing this trailer showing off the Alpha Point demo. Now, this was released a while ago and they talked about their contributions to the Matrix Awakens project. So Epic or sorry, not Epic Games, the Coalition has been using the engine for things like Gears of War. And one of my first performance reviews over on IGN was how Gears of War proves that the Xbox Series X is a beast because they, like no other, I think, do a fantastic job of showing just how much you can push the Unreal Engine to its limits to get the most out of the games that they develop. So this is their open world visual tech test showing off what they're able to do. Uh, this is their cinematic visual showing off what they're able to do in Unreal Engine 5. And already you can see the, the unique lighting on his face, the lighting from the crystal, lighting his armor, the lights on his armor. There's a lot going on on a technological level. Volumetric smoke, of course. We saw, we saw some really, really cool stuff uh, in Returnal utilizing volumetric smoke during some of the boss fights, which was really, really neat. Uh, go check out that performance review also if you didn't. I, it's a series that I really enjoy working on, and um, there's some really, really cool tech behind these. So Coalition, yet again, showing off <laughs> just how good they are at what they do. And I'm excited to see what their next actual project looks like. It seems like right now they've been messing around a lot with the technology, figuring out how they can push it to their limit push it to its limits and get the most out of this 
game engine. Unreal Engine 5 is amazingly powerful and it's really, really <laughs> exciting. Here's what they tweeted about the, the demo. Achievement unlocked, 20 years of Unreal Engine on Xbox. Fast forward to today and numerous teams across Xbox Game Studios are building new Unreal Engine 5 games that we'll be talking about for years to come. This new tech test from our friends at Coalition Gears is a must see. And let's see if the Coalition actually tweeted about anything. It said, it's time, join Kate J. Rayner, Studio Technical Director and Colin Penty, Technical Art Director as they debut a new Unreal Engine 5 tech test and detail next generation experiences. Dive in. So let's see what they linked. Does this just link to the video? So this is the actual press release about it. So it has a hundred times more graphical detail and here, here's some more details about it. So the Cavern Cinematic Test Demo. Today you debut a new Unreal Engine 5 demo during Epic Games State of Unreal presentation. What can you tell us about what we just saw? First off, I have to give credit to the whole team as this was truly a studio-wide effort to create our first ever cinematic in UE5, as well as our first time using Sequencer. And we had a lot of fun making it. A couple of things we're really proud of are the facial animations and just the overall quality of the character model. We were able to util utilize a preliminary version of our next gen face rig and hire an actor wearing a head cam to capture performance and partner with Cubic Motion to bring it all to life. That coupled with Control Rig helped us create someone who looks and moves in the most reali realistic ways we've ever done. And it's incredibly exciting to think where we can go next we also utilize chaos cloth physics to get really high level of visual fidelity and we're extremely pleased with the results the coolest part is we've got all these great visuals and animations running on an xbox series x so that just gives you an idea of the visual fidelity and quality we're going to be able to create demos like this allow us to learn a great deal about the performance of ue5 and I think it's safe to say that we're going to be able to create some pretty incredible things with new tech. So that's running on an Xbox Series X, that demo that we just watched. That's incredibly impressive. And it gives me a lot of uh, hope and excitement about future projects. We know that Hellblade 2, for example, is being developed in Unreal Engine 5. And there's, there's several other titles that are currently in development using Unreal Engine and Unreal Engine 5 specifically. So it's going to be really, really cool to see what these next gen games can do in the long run. So I just wanted to share that news with you a little bit. It's great to hear more about the, what the coalition has been developing, their work on the Unreal Engine 5 demo that used the Matrix world, for example, that blew a lot of people away. It's just been some really, really cool stuff, and it has me really excited for the future. Also excited about the new Tomb Raider. So Tomb Raider will be using all of the same technology that we just saw. Already a gorgeous game going to be cool to see what they can do with all the assets that Unreal has at its disposal. All right. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like my videos, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to know when my content goes live. Thank you so much for watching everybody. If you want to become a member, memberships are a way that you can support the channel. So thank you so, so much to the members who've done so. I always upload these videos with no ads on them. So if you find the ads annoying, just click that join button. And thank you again to all of the members. I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now, everybody.